Did you know there are multiple ways to call a reusable workflow in GitHub Actions? Well, now you do. Let's find out more. Hey y'all, I'm Mickey Gousset. And in this video, we are going to look at the different ways you can call a reusable workflow. Now before we jump to a demo, let's get an understanding of what those are. A reusable workflow is called using the uses keyword, in a similar way to how you call an action in a step. However, there is a big difference here. The reusable workflow is called directly within a job, not from a step. For all practical purposes, the reusable workflow is the job. The first option is if the calling workflow and the reusable workflow are in the same repository. In this instance, you reference the reusable workflow via a local reference, for example, dot slash dot github slash workflows slash file name. You basically path to the file name of the reusable workflow. In the example below, you can see I'm calling a reusable workflow called reusable workflow one dot yml. You'll notice that I'm not specifying an at symbol or a version of the workflow. When calling a workflow from the same repo, you don't have to do that. Instead, GitHub Actions is going to use the reusable workflow file from the same commit as the calling workflow. The second option is if the calling workflow and the reusable workflow are in different repositories. In this instance, you reference the reusable workflow as owner slash repo slash dot github slash workflows slash file name at and a reference. You are still pathing down to the reusable workflow, but now you are needing to provide a reference so that GitHub Actions knows exactly what version of the workflow to use. You have three options, a commit SHA, a branch name, or a release tag. In the example to the right, you can see we are referencing a workflow file using a release tag. Okay, now that we've covered the concepts, let's go see this in action. Yes, pun intended. To get started, let's look at how we would call a reusable workflow that exists in the same repo as the workflow that is calling it. So here we are in my repository, and if I go into my .github workflows folder, I have the my starter workflow. And if we look at this workflow file, it's very, very simple. It is triggering on workflow dispatch, which means I'm going to trigger it manually. And there's only one job. That job is called call workflow in local repo. And that job has a uses statement. And since I am calling a workflow that is in the same repository as this workflow, I can reference it by just saying dot slash dot GitHub slash workflows, so going to the workflows folder, and then listing the reusable workflow. And this will call a version of the reusable workflow that is on the same commit as this file. And I'll prove that to you by doing this. First we will go to, let's go look at what the reusable workflow does. And here the reusable workflow uses the event workflow underscore call, which is what says this is a reusable workflow. And I've got one job, RU1 job one, it runs on Ubuntu latest, and all it does is write something out. In this case, I am reusable workflow one. Now, I also have a branch, feature branch. And if I look at this same reusable workflow file, on the feature branch, you'll notice that it echoes out I am reusable workflow one on the feature branch. 
So to show you that even though we haven't provided any at version information, that it does use the same version of the file that is on the same commit. If we go to actions and we go to my starter workflow and we execute this on the main branch and then we execute it again on the feature branch then on the main branch if we look at the output it wrote out I am reusable workflow one which is the value that is currently on the main branch which is where I ran that from but if we go back to the one that we ran on the feature branch then it writes out I am reusable workflow one on the feature branch so when calling a reusable workflow from within the same repository you don't have to specify an at version you just specify the reusable workflow name and it picks up which one to run based off of the commit it's going to always be the same commit as the workflow that's calling it so what about if we have reusable workflows in another repository? Okay, so let's go back to actions and let's look at, or code actually, and let's go look at my starter workflow two. Now my starter workflow two looks very similar to my starter workflow one, other than it's actually calling a reusable workflow in a separate repository in the three different ways that we can. So first we're calling a reusable workflow using a release, so using a tag, and we do that by saying uses the organization name or the owner, the repository name, and then dot github slash workflows, the workflow name, and then in this case we're saying at v1 because I have created a release called v1. So this is going to use the version that is on the release. I've got a second job in here called workflow using branch, which is calling the same workflow, but in this case, I'm saying use whatever's currently on the main branch. And then finally, I'm calling a reusable workflow, but I am tying it to a specific SHA, a specific commit. So back on the, in the, YouTube video demos to repository, I have a single workflow file. Now the workflow file that's on the current main branch will write out I am a reusable workflow I am reusable workflow 2 on the current main branch okay now remember though that I also have created a release a v1 release so if I look at the tag the v1 tag and I look at the file that's on that tag you'll see that it should write out I am reusable workflow 2 specific release so it should write out something different and then finally if I look at let's switch back to the main branch the commits this is the commit that I am using and in this case it should write out I am reusable workflow two specific commit. So I should get a different message for each of the ways that I'm calling this workflow file to show that it is calling from different areas. Let's go grab this and we'll just open up a new tab.
and let's go to actions. Let's go to my starter workflow two and let's run this workflow. Oh, something happened. Let's go see. We get an error message saying error parsing the workflow, workflow not found. But we know that workflow is there because we just went and looked at it. However, we're getting this error message because since we're calling from another repository, we have to actually modify a setting in this repository to allow that workflow to access or to allow that workflow to be accessed by other workflows. To change this, we go to settings and we go to, on the left hand side, we go to actions, general, and at the very bottom there's an access that determines how this repository is used by workflows and other repositories. And you'll see that right now it is set to not accessible. So I can make this accessible to other repositories in my organization or in my enterprise. So I'm going to make it accessible to other repositories in my organization and I'll click save. And if we go back to where we tried to call this and we select my starter workflow too, and we try to run it again. Now we should see it's going to kick off three jobs, the release one, the branch one, and the SHA one. We'll let that run and then we'll look at the results to make sure it did actually call the three distinct jobs. So if we look at the release, it writes out specific release. If we look at the branch, it writes out current main branch. And if we look at the SHA, it writes out specific commit. So there you go. Multiple ways to call a reusable workflow that is located in a separate repository. Just remember to set that permission so that you'll have access to it. I hope you've enjoyed this video on calling reusable workflows. If so, please comment and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and smash that bell to be notified of my next video. Thanks for watching.